Hello and welcome to another episode of Bernadette TV and in this episode we're talking about how to tell if your course will sell. I'm a poet and don't I know it. Um, so the quick answer is um, I've got a checklist for you so if you actually want a checklist to run through uh, to determine whether your course is going to be a winner or a downright flop then go and download that right away it's in the link below. Um, but before uh, I get on to some of the ways that you can tell if your course will sell, I just want to talk about why this should never be a surprise to you. Because the truth is, every time you do anything online, whether you are making a Facebook post, whether you're posting a video like this, whether you're sending an email, whether you are launching a product, everything is an opportunity to get feedback. And the key is to pay close attention to what's really resonating with your audience and you know what's generating crickets because it's just feedback and so I want to remove from you the fear of getting it wrong and just have you approach this from a place of everything is an opportunity to feed for feedback and the secret is to do more of what's working and just identify what isn't working and stop doing that so for example it could be that you have a Facebook post that you've noticed is getting liked is getting shares there's lots of comments well to me I'd dig into that and go, okay, well, what was it that you were saying or doing or what were you talking about or how were you being that was really creating that kind of response from your audience? Um, I remember when I was starting out, um, just offering almost on a whim, uh, a one-off teleseminar on how to attract corporate clients. It happened to be an area that I'd had quite a track record because I'd previously had an offline training business um, selling to corporates and I'd won some big corporate clients. Well, what was interesting is when I launched this teleseminar and I said that I was only going to have 20 spots, it sold out. Overnight, it sold out. And that was feedback for me. There's interest here. There's demand. And after I did that teleseminar, I realized, you know, I've got a lot more to share on this topic and I'd love to create something that's bigger, that goes into more depth. And so when I went to create that product, How to Attract Corporate Clients, I did so knowing there was already a demand for it. So that's another um, tip. Is there a way that you could offer uh, an early version or a small version or something that just gives you an indication of whether people are interested? Um, you might just even put, um, without any commitment, um, a, a survey to your list. Hey, I'm thinking about putting together a workshop where we cover this topic and I'm going to show you how to solve these problems. Um, I'm only going to do it if there's enough interest. PM me or let me know if you're interested. Again, that's a great way to test the receptiveness of your list for what you want to create. So those are some ideas um, to help you to tell if your course will sell. If you want my full checklist, make sure you come and download uh, the checklist uh, below this video. And the final thing I want to say to you is um, this should never be a surprise. <laughs> um, if you launch and it's a flop, and I promise it's happened to me, it only has happened when I stopped paying attention. So I can remember there was once in my online career where I invested tens of thousands of dollars and lots and lots of hours creating a product and when I put it out there on launch day it, it sold but not as well as I expected it to and it was because I'd created that little product in a vacuum so I hadn't been you know asking my audience along the way is this what you want with this help um, I want to create something to solve this problem is this important to you so th the ultimate answer here is about feedback you know you are doing a dance with your marketplace and when you are in sync and you're both moving you know to the music in rhythm it's a beautiful thing and if you're out of sync that's not the end of the world that's just again feedback that you need to get back in rhythm so i hope that's helped you and give you some ideas to help you determine if your course will sell uh, make sure to download the checklist because i've got loads more juicy content for you and i look forward to seeing you on a future episode of bernadette tv If you like this video and want to see even more great content on how to grow your online business, then keep watching.